okay so in this video we will see that how we can write unit test in our react application so first of all uh, what is unit testing the unit testing is a testing method in which we we'll basically test our individual uh, unit or individual code like a function or in this case we have react application so we will test the react components okay the unit testing is really important if you want to reduce uh, the number of bugs and also want to increase the quality of the code okay so let's see how we can write basic unit test in our react application so right now i have nothing in my project so i simply first of all uh, go to the source and create a new folder here that is called components let's create a component and in that i will create a simple counter component okay and here i will add the basic uh, functional component here so first of all let's import here use state hook let's quickly create our component so i type here um counter and set counter and by default the value is going to be one okay and then here i will simply add here a div with the class name of counter and in that i will add a button okay and i will type here the name of the button so let's call it plus to increment the value okay and in the same way i will add here a second button uh, with minus to decrease the value and here i will add a p tag uh, in which i will display the counter value like this okay and now i will create two functions here one for increment so const increment counter okay In which I will set the counter and previous counter I will just add one in that so previous counter plus one okay in the same way I simply copy it from here for the decrease uh, or decrement and then I will add here minus and here I will simply type on click I will call the increment counter and here on click um, decrement um, counter okay so I will add here minus simply save this one and now in my index of CSS I have here uh, this counter class that will just center it and add margin top and for the p tag i have just added here some, some margin and for the button i have also added some padding in the button okay so i simply close this one let's test it first of all i type here npm start so the application is started here um okay so we have also called the component basically so i simply go to my app.js and i will remove this from here and add here counter Okay, simply save this one and now if I go back you can see that I can increase the value and decrease the value okay so this is our simple uh, component which is a counter component that will increase or decrease the value okay so now let's test this uh, component so for that first of all um, I close this one now to create a test I will simply go to the components folder and create here a new folder with the name underscore underscore test underscore underscore okay so now you can uh, place your test folder anywhere in the application but i will put that uh, test in the components folder because we have to test our components okay so first of all i create a new file here to test the uh, counter components that so i uh, create a new file that is counter dot test dot js or you can also type here counter dot spec dot js so just will automatically detect uh, that this is a testing file you can type here counter.spec.js or counter.test.js okay and now uh, we will use just for testing our applications by default if i go to the package or json file you can see that here uh, when we create our new react project we get this testing library with that and by default we get here just dom with that and we will use just for testing our uh, react app so just is basically a javascript framework to test our javascript applications whether it is a react application node application okay so we will use this jest so i simply close this one and now here first of all what i do is i have to import from here import 
the render okay then the fire event and then the screen okay and I will explain that in a minute we have to import that from the react testing uh, sorry testing library slash uh, react okay so we have to import the render fire event and screen from testing library slash react and I will explain all these in a minute and then I will import the component that I want to test in this case that is counter so I will import the counter from dot dot slash counter okay now let's write our unit test to test our counter component so what I do is I simply first of all I can simply type here like test okay. and in that I will simply pass here what I want to test I want to test the increment counter okay increments counter because we have to write two unit tests one for increment and one for decrement so first of all we will type a test increment counter okay then I will pass here a callback function in that I will simply first of all have to render uh, this counter component so for the render I will use this render that is provided by uh, the testing library so I will type here render in that I have to pass the component so that is the counter component okay now this render will actually render that in the virtual DOM so I type here render component in the virtual DOM okay now after rendering that we have to basically select the elements on this component so in this case when we have to increment the value we, we need two things first of all we need the increment button and then this paragraph okay so now what I do is I simply type here um, here as select elements okay to interact so I need here first of all the counter so const counter is equal to now how I can uh, get those uh, button and this counter paragraph so for that I have to give ID to these uh, basically uh, elements so I will simply type here after this button I will type here data dash test ID okay and the ID is going to be increment and the same way I will use the ID for this paragraph that is going to be um, let's call it counter okay and then for this button I will use here uh, decrement okay now uh, you can also use ordinary ID but that will create a lot of issues in the future for example if you are using that ID to design your uh, elements okay and so if you change that ID then it will also break your uh, unit test basically okay so make sure that you give a separate test ID to each element like this data dash test ID okay so now I can simply type here const counter is equal to I can type here screen okay so I will use this screen so this basically help us to interact with the uh, elements on the DOM so I will use here dot get um, by test ID okay so what is the test ID so our test ID is the counter okay and in the same way I have to select the decrement btn so I will use here screen dot get test uh, by test ID and I will pass here the decrement um, oh sorry that is increment okay so I will also use that here so now I have my counter and increment button here I have selected those from the DOM and now I have to actually press the button so that it can actually increase the value uh, in, in the counter so I will simply type here interact with elements okay so for that I will use this fire event so fire event will help us to uh, interact with those uh, basically elements or basically help us to uh, click on the button in this case so I use here fire event dot uh, click okay so I have to click on the uh, increment button okay so now it will click on this increment button this means that the value of the counter is changed from 1 to 2 so now we have to expect the result so what did I simply type here expect okay so in the expect I will simply type here that expect counter dot to have um, text content um, 
let's type here two okay because by default the value is one so when we will click on this plus button it will increase the value to two so we will expect that this counter value is now two now this is called assertion we can write multiple assertions uh, in our test but in this case one is enough okay so now first of all uh, so now let's run this test and I simply save this one and before running this I will simply delete this app.test.js because we don't need that here so I simply delete that file first of all and now to run the test I will simply um, type here npm run test so it will run the test and you can see that our run uh, test is passed successfully which is the increment counter okay so for example if I type here 3 now the test will fail so you can see that uh, expected element to have text content 3 but received 2 okay so we have to expect here 2 so now this test is passing successfully now let's write our second test for this decrement button okay now there is another way to write a test what I do is I simply type here describe okay now in the describe I will type here the name of the component that I am that I am testing the counter component and in that I will pass here callback now in this block I can write all the tests that are related to the counter component so it will basically clean our unit test for this component so I will use here it then should increment counter okay then callback function again then I will simply copy all this from here or cut this from here and put that in here simply save this one and I will delete this from here now you can see that our one test is also passing successfully you can see that here now it now it is clean so counter and under the counter we have our first unit test that is should increment the counter okay now we have to write our second unit test then after this it I will write another it block here that is it should uh, decrement counter okay and again I will write here my uh, callback function I simply have to copy all this from here because the test is uh, pretty much same but here I need here the decrement button okay so I will select here decrement button okay so now if the user click on this decrement button by default the value is 1 okay so when user will click on the uh, decrement button or the minus button then the value will change from 1 to 0 I will simply type here that we are expecting the counter to be 0 okay so now if I press command s you can see that uh, the two tests are passing successfully that should decrement the counter if I type here like uh, 4 simply save it you can see that the test is failed that expected element to have been text content 4 like we are expecting 4 but actually we received 0 okay so that's why we have to type here 0 so now our unit tests are passing successfully in both cases for increment and decrement now let's discuss about the snapshot so snapshot is really important tool um, if you don't want your UI to change unexpectedly so let's see how snapshot can help in that case so what I do is I simply type here another describe block so describe and in this case that is the counter snapshot and I will pass here the arrow function or callback and it I will type here that it should um, let's call it matches DOM snapshot okay and then I will simply type here const let's call it tree and now we have to use here renderer and for the renderer I have to install a package that is called npm i react dash test dash renderer okay so now let's first of all import this so I will import here renderer from react test renderer so basically this package will help us to grab the snapshot of a DOM tree and let's see how we can use that so first of all I type here renderer I will type here create okay now in create I will pass my component okay and then I will type here dot to JSON and then I will simply type here that expect tree dot to match um, snapshot simply save this one when I will run this unit test you will see here 
a new folder in the test that is underscore underscore snapshots so let's run our unit test so npm run test so you can see that uh, here uh, one snapshot written so if i go to the snapshots and you can see that here counter dot spec dot snap or dot js dot snap so in that basically you can see that we have our uh, component here which is this uh, counter component so now this snapshot is saved in here now for example if we change here something like if i type here like um, count like this now if i press command s you can see that the snapshot failed so it is actually giving us the error that uh, you can see that should match the dom snapshot it is giving us uh, the warning here that uh, this count uh, colon is added uh, in the component here and that is not present in the snapshot okay so here are two conditions one is that if uh, the uh, developer has added it as a functionality in that case this is not an error we have to update the snapshot but if this uh, count is added accidentally then the snapshot is giving us warning or error that this is added in this component okay so for example if you have added it accidentally you can simply remove that from here you know that it is written in here but uh, if you want to add that you can simply uh, type uh, press here w and here we have an option called um, uh, press u to update the failing snapshots so if i press here u you can see that now the snapshot is updated and if i open this one you can see that now it has count also in here okay so you can see that the snapshots are really helpful and it also makes sure that our ui does not change um, unexpectedly okay so these are the snapshots so now let's test another component so i have just uh, created a new component here with the name comments.js just to save some time i have already added the code here you can see that it is just sending the request to this uh, json placeholder website that give us the fake data in this in this case that is comments uh, you can see that here um, here you can see that these are the this is the fake comments okay so i will basically set all the comments here uh, in this get comments function and after that i am simply using this map function to map through all those uh, comments and i will use this li to display all the uh, com uh, comments basically okay and i have given a data test id to this li okay for example if i run this so npm start um, you can see that I have also changed here in the app.js I have to comment out this one and I will simply import here um, comments like this will save it and if I go back um, so cannot resolve Axios so I have to install the Axios you can see that I have also imported that here so let's install the Axios npm i Axios I will restart the server and you can see that we have all the comments here in li okay so now let's test uh, unit test this component and for that I will simply go to this underscore underscore test and create a new file here that is called um, comments dot spec or you can also type here dot test dot js okay then I have to simply uh, import all these from here copy that and put that here and then I will import the comments uh, from here and then I will type here describe um, comments component okay I will simply type here that it should get all comments okay then I will simply have to um, write our code here so now you can see that if I go back to the uh, comments.js you can see that we are using this axios.get to get all these comments from this uh, endpoint okay so now what we are going to do here is we are simply going to mock this axios get function so what is mock mock basically means that we are giving the fake implementation of that function okay so now for example right now we want to mock this axios okay because we want this axios dot get to return the dummy data so what i do is i simply type here jest which is the testing library dot mock and in that mock i will simply pass here axios 
so for that I will import here Axios first of all so import Axios from Axios okay and after that I will simply create here a new array const dummy comments and then I will give here two dummy comments I go back to my Chrome and I copy that from here like these two and I put them here okay so now let's delete this part just to make it sure okay now we have dummy comments in this array so what I do is I will simply type here that axios dot get now we know that axios dot get is the method that help us to get uh, the result from a certain endpoint so in this case we want to give the fake or mock implementation to this get function so I will use here dot mock resolved value okay and in that I will pass here data which is the dummy comments okay so now it will give us the dummy data that we are passing here and then after that I will simply again render the component and that I will pass here the comments okay and then I will simply get my comments const comments I will use here await okay await because axios dot get returns a promise so I will type here wait for okay so I have to use here wait for because you have to wait for results to come and then I will simply get the comment by using screen dot get all by get all by test ID okay so you get so we want to get all uh, the comments so type here comment and this comment is present uh, right here you can see that we have given the test ID to this comment so we will get all the comments by using screen dot get uh, by test ID and this is a wait so we have to make this a same okay and then I will simply make assertion here that expect the comments dot to have length of two because we have passed two uh, uh, comments here so we are expecting that we have uh, two comments also in the response okay so I simply press here command s and now I will simply type here npm run test so you can see that here test is failed and it is failed because um, uh, wait okay so um, okay so we have to actually put that inside the it block right here simply save this one and now the test is failed again it is saying that cannot use import statement outside the module okay now to solve this issue I will simply go to my package or JSON file and in front of this uh, test script I will type this that is transform uh, ignore patterns then the path which is node modules just bin just.js and this will basically remove our issue simply save this close this one and now if I run my test okay so now let's run it again now you can see that test is failing again okay so module dot start with is not a function okay so I simply go back and here and actually I have to type that in the codes so simply save this one and now you can see that the test is failing again wait for is not defined and we have to import this wait for also from here simply save this one and now the test are passing successfully you can see that here and if I press here W and now if I type here P to filter my files so I simply type here the name of the file that is comments dot spec dot js so now you can see that should get all comments is uh, passing successfully you can see that right here so again what is mock mock simply means that we are giving the fake implementation of a particular function in that case we are mocking this axios dot get okay so at the top we simply use just dot mock to mock this axios okay and then here we will simply type that axios dot get 
and then we would have to give here the uh, mock implementation or the fake implementation of this axios.get so axios.get will basically uh, uh, give us all the results from a particular endpoint in this case it is giving us back an array of comments okay so what i do is i'll create a dummy array here uh, that contains two comments in this case okay then i will give here mock resolved value and then in the mock resolved value i will pass that dummy comments as data okay then i will simply render my component and then i will get the comment by using this get all by test id in the and save that in the comments and we are expecting that our uh, comments length is 2 because we have passed here 2 okay for example if i pass here 3 the test will absolutely fail uh, you can see that here okay so expected 3 but uh, received 2 i simply type here 2 and now the test is passed successfully so in this video we have tested two components counter and the comments so let me know in the comment section if you want more videos on unit testing in react or node.js and also you can post your questions in the comment section i will reply all the questions and also the source code of this video is in the description of this video and also you can check my courses on udemy and the link is also available in the description of this video make sure to subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video